always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. Welcome back. It is 516. We're getting a check of the weather here. Gray skies, just dampness all around. It's it's what we're expecting. Yeah, let's go ahead and check in with Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivia. Yeah, Alex Ryan, it is not pretty out there right now. We got a lot of fog. We got a lot of humidity and it's actually kind of an interesting setup across Acadiana. First, let's get you out the door this morning as we take a look at your sportsman's forecast. Well, those temperatures, they will be holding either in the 60s or the 50s, depending on where you are. But we're going to see a lot of clouds, a lot of fog, some mist, even some rain out there. Just not a very pleasant day. Here's a live view from our Queen City of the Tesh camera in New Iberia with that fog setting on in. It's not too terrible out there right now. We can at least see some of the buildings, but you can also see how wet the roadways are. Uh, it's going to be a very muggy morning out there. Very, very humid. We have a shower being reported in Abbeville. We're looking at temperatures though ranging from the 50s, lower 50s up in Ville Platte and Opelousas to near 70 down around the coast. What's going on with that? Well, there is a stalled front. The front that was expected to come through last night and bring all this chilly air all the way down to the coast has just hung itself up here right along the I-10 corridor. And as it sits there, any little wobble will make you a little bit colder today or maybe make you a little bit warmer. So it's going to be kind of an interesting weather pattern for the rest of today. One thing's for sure, we're going to be watching for some showers out there. Radar already pretty active back here along the coast into Cameron and parts of Vermilion Parish right over White Lake. And these are just some light nuisance showers that will be off and on through the day today. Not really expecting a whole lot of heavy rain out of this. Now I want to caution you when you look at this future cast because it has some pretty chilly temperatures. This is one of the models that was expecting that front to be offshore. Well, we're not seeing those types of temperatures. Sure, it's chillier up to the north, but not in the 40s. If we get this front to kind of sink a little bit farther to the south, maybe we see some of these temperatures later on today. But the general idea is you're not going to move much from where you are right now. The big reason I'm showing you this future cast is because it's picking up on some of that rain that moves on through the area by midday. In fact, it becomes pretty widespread across the area, leading to a wet afternoon, a gray afternoon out there. And again, if that front sinks a little bit more to the south, sometimes rain will help with that. We may see some cooler temperatures, but here's how things look to shape up. Maybe getting into the 40s to Ville Platte, but 50s elsewhere north of I-10, near 70 or even above that down along the coast. Tonight, those temperatures will actually fall because we are seeing those chillier conditions out there behind that front as it settles along the coast. And then tomorrow, a gray day, more showers to track. Those temperatures in the mid 50s for daytime highs. Thursday, we're going to be watching for a lot of storms around the area, possibly even some heavier rain, and then going into the weekend, finally seeing some sunlight, which will be a nice change of pace for us. Yes, uh, looking forward to the sunshine, but the cooler temperatures are going to be nice too, I suppose, so mm -hmm. a little bit good. Uh, Very everything. briefly. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, Adam.